Hi, and welcome to Yellowfin's Tips and Tricks. Today's video will introduce you to using filters in a dashboard. Dashboard filters are particularly useful when analyzing multiple reports and charts on a dashboard. So here we're in the campaign analysis dashboard, and we're going to click on this drop down and edit. It's okay if we create a new version. And here we can see this dashboard properties panel on our right hand side. We're going to navigate to the dashboard tab here. And we already have some filter properties to look at. We have automatic filter linking, which links the filters on the dashboard to any report you would like. Filter reset control and left filters. If we toggle left filters, this icon on the left hand top side will pop up where we can add filters on the left navigation panel. We also have the option to do things like hide the reset link if we don't want that to be available, or just the entire control panel. You can also change the location of the apply button. And for more options with filters, we can play with the ones we already have on the dashboard here. If you click on this filter panel. We can see it's called vertical filter list and we can change the height, do similar things like hide the reset link or display name, change the display name, or change even the list size. So if we just wanted five entries to show for each list, we could do that. And if we just do preview, as we can see, now each filter only shows the top five and you have to scroll to see more options. So we might want to do this if we're trying to make the filter panel shorter. We can also do things like change the apply button location or for each individual filter, you can click on the three dots here and change the entry style. Say we want this to be checkboxes and we can change things like that here.